top review on the Samsung HMX F900 and this video camera runs under $200 I believe I paid about 160 from Walmart and uh, I'm gonna do a pretty strong review on it I mean I won't go in too depth but I will leave a lot more information in the description on it um, so let me go ahead and start my story I went with a GoPro uh, Hero 3 white edition and it didn't fit my needs and you guys will probably see that here up in the top corner I just I liked it a lot when I got it and I felt like you know one of those fancy panties who's got a GoPro now and after messing with it a little bit tampering with it you know I honestly didn't like it and it didn't fit my needs for the simple fact that it doesn't have the screen to where you can review what you recorded it doesn't have a zoom and so on and so forth I understand that's part of being a sports video cam or you know an outdoor video cam or what not GoPro is a phenomenal item do not get me wrong but it just did not fit my needs so I took it back and went with the Samsung HMX 9 F900 after doing a lot of reviews on it I was pretty shocked you know it's a very nice video camera and uh, I'll get into details right now for you guys so it is pretty compact I mean it's not your littlest compact video camera uh, it is HD 1280 by 720 uh, you could drop the resolution down a little bit uh, show you guys here basically what your details are true color with CMOS now I do want to touch bases with you on that it's not very high quality at night for uh, night recording it does not have a light on it it does have a tripod mount um, it is YouTube compatible it has a program built in to it to where you can upload straight from your video camera to YouTube instead instead of having to use a uh, editing program it also comes with an editing program and if you're interested in more information on that I have not tampered with that yet for the simple fact that I use Sony Vegas uh, Pro 9 uh, it is compatible with Sony Vegas as long as your settings are set correct uh, the rendering time is great on it. Yeah, it comes with a rechargeable battery. You have the choice of USB connection to your laptop for charging or you can do a wall mount charging. Also the USB is what's compatible for doing a transfer uh, of your files or whatnot to your laptop. It does come with the, I can't recall if it's an ATV or whatnot. But the connections to set up to your standard TV uh, inputs so you can watch your videos on your television. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just a quick guide, and it also has uh, one of those email thingy majiggers where you can sign up for you know free information and chance to win free products or whatnot. Uh, jumping into the video camera, we'll make this quick. Uh, over off to the side here is where your lens uh, eye shutner is. You can see there, as I stated, it does not have a light. Uh, on the top here, you have your speakers, as far as I'm aware. You have the 52 uh, times optical zoom, and I'm going to give you guys a zoom in on. Let me show you guys these mountains out here which is about maybe an hour drive or so maybe a little bit closer but I will give you a visual with the zoom with this video camera um, it has my clip now I haven't really got too much in the detail on that basically uh, that's your for your photo shoot you can take your photos here you can uh, rotate zoom in, zoom out here you got your different types of modes to go in either into recording or uh, you can scan through to either photos and videos. You got your power source here. Dropping down to the bottom, you have smart audio. You have smart BG, uh, BGM. You have your pause button. And then you got your other button there. As I stated, I haven't really got in too much depth with it. I believe that is your outer speaker. It's an H264 recording. You have your connections down here on the bottom with the cool little uh, tab that opens and closes, which is very good if you're in a dusty area such as I am. Uh, sh let me place the battery in here and 
let me get this rolling so you guys can see the quality of the video but we are going to record from the video camera so I can show you more quality but I want to show you guys from the lens zone so excuse me as I try to get this settled in here alright so here you have your menu settings and you have your T you have your record let me go ahead and turn her on oh, that was funny turn her on and I want to point out one more cool thing is that this lens actually does flip so when you're recording yourself such as here you can see yourself in the recordings if you do you know like YouTube presentations or whatnot um, let me flip her around one more time. I apologize about the shakiness. I'm trying to give you guys as much of a strong review as I can. I know there's stronger reviews on YouTube of this, but I figured I'll throw it out for those of you who missed that type of video. So, we're not going to go into zooming and stuff outside of the camera. We're going to jump into the camera and do the zooms and stuff. But I just basically want to drop into the menu and uh, items and hopefully my phone will be able to get a zoom <clears throat> so you can see I don't have any items here and let's just go ahead and do this let's just jump into the setting zone so here's your menu button and you'll see it has let me see if I can get this steady I apologize for the shakiness I'm gonna try to get as steady as possible um, so you have your eye scene your resolution which is 128720 you could drop your resolution as I stated to your SD or you can stay to HD I personally run HD for all YouTube this is YouTube compatible you can as I stated you can transfer your data from this to the editing program to the YouTube photo resolution uh, if you guys have any input on photo resolution let me know I, as far as I know I think the 1280 by 720 is probably good good resolution um, so let me know which one would be better. Also, if you see any changes I should make in my settings and you guys are more uh, into depth with this kind of stuff, let me know because I'll be more willing to receive more information than I'm trying to give because honestly, I'm pretty well a noob when it comes to all this stuff. I just make videos, edit, and that's it. I don't really get too depth into the video camera session. So anyways, there's your EV and then adjust. I really never messed with that. I don't know what it's for. There's your C night. I have it on. Um, that's another item I don't really know what it's for, so input me on that. As I stated, this is not a teaching tutorial. This is basically a tabletop review of video camera that I just purchased. And if you're interested in purchasing this, I'm hoping this video can help you to see what kind of settings it has and so on and so forth. Uh, your focus, I have it on auto. There's manual. The focus is not too bad at all. I actually really like it. And that was one of the perspectives that I did not like about the GoPro is you cannot zoom in. And if uh, as you guys can probably see, my channel is based on firearms, bullets, and stuff like that. And I like to get a good zoom in on when I'm doing like tabletop reviews or uh, product reviews. So there's your face detection. I have that off. I don't know if I should have it on. Anti-shake, I have that on because I'm a shaky person. That's why I had to set this phone down on the table so you guys don't get seasick. It has digital special effects, white balance, CPRA, and it just continues to go on to negative dazzle and all that other good stuff. Zoom type, digital zoom. I don't know if I should change that to optical zoom. You guys let me know on that. I don't know how to get to the Intelli zoom. I don't even know what that's for. So input me. Uh, count shot, I have it off. I don't know if I should have that on. Once again, as I stated, I'm just showing you guys the settings. Time lapse record, I have it off. There's another, and you can either put that on. The guideline it has off cross grid, safety zone. So there's your settings for the guideline. Settings, it has storage information, file number, data time. Uh, date and time display, LCD brightness, auto LCD off, beep sound, shutter sound, auto power off, PC software, format, default settings, language, uh, open source licenses, and there's your settings there. Uh, I seen, I have it on auto, you got like sports and you know all the good stuff on there. 
and right back to your resolution. So this is a really good video camera, honestly, for the money that I paid. I believe it was, I can't recall. I know it was cheaper than the GoPro. I paid 199 for the GoPro White um, Hero 3 Edition. And after taking the Hero back, I got this, and it was probably, I got like 50 some odd dollars back for it. So it was, it was a lot cheaper. I think it was like 160 if that. Uh, but you know what? I have already recorded quite a lot, quite a bit of videos with it. And I really like it. Uh, the downfall uh, is basically recording at night. You're not going to get your highest quality. But of course, you know what? If you're trying to record at night, go with the night video camera that has, you know, like the night vision um, settings or the type of settings that will uh, reflect the light into the video camera to give you better uh, standard quality. Um, it has, as I stated on the front here, it has the true color with CMOS. Uh, I've seen a lot of down talk on the review on that, but you know what? Honestly, you you get what you pay for. And honestly, in this video camera, in this situation, you get more than what you paid for. I was in real shock when I purchased this, and I'm loving it a lot. Honestly, I really am. And, you know, it can't go wrong. I was, when I, when I took the GoPro back, I was a bit sketchy I was like man I'm kind of downgrading myself but you know what I actually upgraded myself because I love the simple fact that you get the zoom you get so much more with this than you do with the GoPro and for my type of videos that I do such as running gun and stuff like that um, you know it, it works perfect for me so let's jump into the video camera and I'll show you guys how it foc uh, focuses and how the zoom is and everything else so bear with me and we'll go jump right on in all right so now that we're inside the video camera we're actually inside my house and i figured this is probably the best way to give you guys a great review due to the fact that you have glass and i want to show you how great of a zoom this video camera has now i want to apologize about any type of shakiness i am a shaky person and so i'm going to try to hold as steady as possible we are all the way focused out as you can see here and we're gonna focus on these mountains and hopefully get a good review. I've already done this quite a bit and I got gotten some really close in-depth look of these mountains. So welcome to the Arizona desert and let's go take a trip. So that's not even halfway focused in. And I'm just gonna click you guys in slowly here so I can show you the close-ups that we're gonna get here. Now you notice, let me, uh, I'm trying to get settled here, sorry. Now you notice the closer you get, of course, with the zoom, the more shakier it gets. I'm sure if I had a tripod, you guys wouldn't be dealing with this. But I mean, we're continuously zooming in here. And we're zooming in, and we're zooming in. And I'm going to bump you guys around a minute I'm gonna sit on the table and try to get a more focused steadier look here okay I'm not giving the video camera enough time to focus in so there we go so you can see how much closer we can get I mean, you can literally get really in depth. Now, if this was sitting on a tripod, you wouldn't get this much shakiness. As I stated, I wanted to apologize ahead of time because I am a shaky person. But I mean, you can see how close we are getting to these mountains. And the focus on this is just phenomenal, really crazy. I mean, we are literally like right inside the mountain. And of course, you know, recording this far on a focus you're going to lose focus zooming in I mean I've actually seen high-end sniper scopes rifle scopes not get that great of a focus and this is doing really phenomenal honestly it really is now there's just a close-up without being too in-depth and you guys can see the mountains there really beautiful really close look at them and as I stated that is probably about an hour drive to Nevada from Arizona those are the Nevada mountains 
and I mean it's just phenomenal let me zoom out and show you guys how far we are and then we'll come in one more time and I'll show you guys the close up on it it's pretty cool honestly and I'll bring you guys all the way in one more time sorry about the shakiness it has a breaking point to where it kind of tells you to stop because you're going to get too blurred out but seriously look how close that is it's really phenomenal to zoom and as I stated the GoPro didn't give me that opportunity and so I wasn't really interested in that I wanted a zoom and a focus and you know I get it with this video camera very well be pretty cool if we seen some longhorn sheep out there right now whoa look at that where'd it go oh what a cool what a cool thing for us to get right now you know while we're actually recording so hopefully that plan to come back and I can show you guys that again that was pretty cool I was wondering what that was on the corner of my eye so there's your close up you guys let me back back out and I show you guys here how far we were out now I'm gonna flip you guys around I don't think that plane's gonna come back around we're not gonna wait for it um, I'm gonna flip you guys around and I'm gonna actually use the manual for an example on small print zoom in now I'm not even gonna zoom in I'm just gonna bring the camera into it and this is really small fine print and if I can hold steady, it'll get a good uh, zoom on it. So there you guys go. It's got a really good focus. And this is without me zooming in. This is basically me being inches from uh, the paper. Now you can step back and you can zoom in. And the focus does take a split second. you got to give it time. You know, as I stated, it's not your crazy quality video camera but eventually it will focus in so there you go so it's a pretty good video camera let me know what you guys think if you guys are interested in finding something that's not gonna break the bank you know this is a really good video camera to go with honestly it really is and as I stated this is inside the house I'm going to take you inside my garage for here here in a second and show you guys what I was talking about with night uh, recording so you can see I have my lamp on in here and this is basically like what you would consider your dim recording area and it's not your best you do people state it's like a jello effect but it's really not too bad honestly I mean see I can record here and have my lamp on in a dark room and it still picks up great lighting and it still focuses very well so here's what I used to use for my videos and this is why I needed to upgrade is because this thing has been beat to hell it still works but you know what that was, this right here only costed me I believe like sixty dollars and it's been really destroyed uh, so it was time for me to upgrade so I hope this review is helping you guys out a lot and you guys can get you know kind of an input I better turn that light off excuse me Here's your darkness review, how it looks at night. That was one of the downfalls I didn't like. It should have came with the light, but it didn't. So it is what it is, you know what? It's a very good video camera. And as I stated, it renders great with Sony Vegas. It is YouTube compatible. I'll actually drop you into the box here and show you guys some of the details. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me just focus in here and give you this is the PC requirements for it as you can see there and as I stated you just notice now the uh, the focus it does take a split second it's not gonna kick in like immediately like maybe your iPhone or whatnot but there's your requirements um, here is your YouTube compatible let me zoom I don't know why I was zoom in your YouTube compatible uh, one button sharing so you just basically push one button and it shares it immediately to YouTube and let me give you some of the details here digital image stabilizing system USB charging my clip enjoy your favorite moments plugins as I stated one touch button for YouTube 
it does come with a smart BGM and your music or whatever I haven't really got into depth on that so that's pretty much it for this video you guys uh, let me flip my lens this is the cool part I get to flip my lens see myself talking and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions as I stated this is a very very good video camera uh, I'm not even going to consider it downgrading from the GoPro. I really, really like this video camera. It's really functional. It does what it's supposed to do and more. And for under $200, you know what? You can't go wrong. It does not have a, flat, uh, a light on it. It does have a tripod mount. And if you guys have any other questions on items that it does or does not have, message me and I'll let you guys know. I'll also put some uh, information in it down below in the link in the description. All right, please subscribe. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, sub, and I'll sub you back. We got a 2,000 sub giveaway coming soon, so let's hit that mark, and uh, let's give away these items that I got. All right, I'm up and out. God bless. Peace out, my friends.